In this video we are going to see how to use a list view control in a Windows Forms application using Visual Studio 2010. Before we start, um, I assume you already have a Visual Studio 2010 installed on your machine. So open, fire up your Visual Studio 2010 and create a Windows Forms application. Once your application is created, now you simply go to toolbox and drag and drop a list view control from toolbox onto the form. After control is added to the form, you can resize it, relocate it dip me wherever you want to move it. And then next thing we are going to do is create a set as properties. Right click on the control and hit properties. As you can see, the properties window pops up here. First thing I'm going to do is change the name. I'm going to change name to authors list view now list view is no different than any other controls available in windows forms except it has some extra features if one other thing i want to mention before we go further if you are just looking for a control that just lists some items and you can sort them and move around select them i would recommend you go to list box control do not use list view control list, list view control is much more complex and it's more useful when you are trying to uh, display complex uh, items such as you know some items may have images some items may have different views the same items can also be you know different uh, they, they may have different images then you can also probably say group those items based on different categories and things like that so what I would recommend if you just need a simple uh, listing or item to be listed in a control I suggest you go back to your list box control and try to use that so let's uh, get back to our list view control so as you can see from properties we can set all the properties from here you can you know set border style you can set any other properties from here and you can also set context menu columns if you want to add multiple columns you can also do that so as soon as you click on columns you will see column header collection editor pops up here you can say add different columns where name of the header is column header one I'm going to change that to name header um, if you look at here The column header also has a text. You can change the text to say name or say author name, and you can align it obviously with add another say alright so we added three columns now now let's go back to items property items property actually adds items to a list view control now there can be different ways you can add items so first before we go to in go into more details let's just add few items in first we are going to add simple text items simple strings so if you click on items you will see list view collection list, list view item collection ed editor appears so add as soon as you add you'll see list view item is added where a list view item can have its own properties can have its own background color it can have its own uh, font everything it can have whatever you want in text say you can have tooltip for text you can also assign some groups images which I'm going to discuss later uh, add one more item say uh, actually add add few more items I'm going to add a few more items to the
obviously you can remove items using remove button okay so as you can see we added five items to the list view control here now one thing you may notice here is all these items are all in one row but since it's just a string so I would rather have them listed in a list box list box item so here's the main difference between list box and list view a list view can be used to provide multiple views of the same data same item so if you look at the view property this is a very important property of list view that makes a control list view not a list box so as you can see by default large icon property is set as a view so if you look at click on this little icon you will see it has one two three four five it has five different views so it can be tile if you change tile you will see the view changes if you go to list so as soon as I change my view to list as you can see all items are displayed in a list in a list manner so I actually I can even change the resize of column and do everything else I can select anything I want so I'm going to discuss all these different views in my next video I don't want to make this video like a two hours video so so in this uh, let's add few more uh, change few more properties and then we are almost done with this so uh, multi select is true already show groups is true scrollable is true uh, show tool tips I would say true can label edit labels can change header style what kind of header you want a clickable header non clickable none in there's no header at all say yes grid lines you can show grid lines true this is important when you'll have multiple columns in multiple rows um, full row select true so these are all general properties you will see one more thing you can do is dark dark property if you say fill it's going to fill in the whole um, form so let's hit f5 which will build and run this sample what you will see is a list box kind of looking list view control where you can select items and you can also see um, tooltip if you notice so this is it for this uh, part one of list view tutorials I'm going to discuss uh, more functionalities and properties and methods available in list view control in my next videos